front of the Fitzroy River mouth and we're going to fish the low tide. So we're going to camp the night in the boat, Albie and I, and see if we can get a couple of silver fish. So the old barramundi we're going for. There we go. We haven't had a fish for a while for barras, so we've got to catch bait. That's the tricky bit. Hopefully we get a um, Fairly easy getting in here, no drama at all. Just got to get her in the water now. We got to get down this bit of a gnarly looking boat now. It'll be right. You can see a few boats flashing around out there, so that's a good sign. All right, just got to rip all the covers off the boat. And we'll slip it in here. Just slipping this boat down here, here. Not so bad. Get to have them crocs down there, Alps. Come on up here. Quick, come on. Up here. Come on. Come on, Doozy Todd. I think you're a little pig, mate, and you'll be a snack. Bloody handy having that mesh on that trailer. Means you don't have to stand in the water and get taken by lizards. Good stuff.
I didn't take any uh, footage of uh, throwing the throw net around, but this is me, but a little while ago. <laughs> Check out the hair. Cruising along. Got a few nice baits in the bait box. Already seen some barra buffs. Seen a few jumping about, so that's a good sign. Anyway, we'll keep getting down the river until we get to our spot. lines in at the moment. As the tide comes in we'll get more bait and then we'll put more lines out. Uh, I already had a little run but I'm pretty sure it's a catfish. That's what it sounds like. I'm just over there, I'll take you over there later on when we're looking for bait. There's a dead cow over there and right next to it is a good sized saltwater crocodile. So I don't think we're going swimming tonight. How about you Alps? You're not going swimming? So over here it's quite shallow. And it drops off to about 1.4 out over there. Now in the past many years ago I've caught some good sized meters here. There's plenty of them. Every time I've come back here I've caught meters. Not to say that we're going to catch any this time. You gotta be in it to win it, aren't ya? This is where we're camping tonight too. So just out the front there, around that corner, is the ocean. Well, King Sound Bay, and then you've got there. Swallowed that bloody hook right down, proper. And check that out. See? Look at the chrome on him. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, we'll check him. That's a good size eating bear. He's not, he's not quite 60. Out there. So it's that 55, 55, 56, 57, 58. 59, eh? Let's call it 59. Looks 59. Go over this side, it's 59. <laughs> yeah. That's a beauty. That's what we're here for. There we go. 
So we bled him out. You always want to do that. And now he can go straight in onto a nice slurry. And a little bit of salt water in there, and that'll keep him good until we get home. Beautiful. Righto. One more, and then we can go. Half decent sized croc there, probably a bit hard to tell. He's about three metres. Uh, one of the problems they have up here is the cattle go down to drink from the water and they get bogged in the mud. The crocs know that and uh, it's all over. We tried to um, help this one and just couldn't do it. I wanted to camp back at that other spot but the wind came up something chronic so we went back up into the shelter of the, the river. This nice thread fin salmon. Mm, nice one. Mm. Bit hard to shoot with that at night. That's a shit. But anyway, we'll see how big he is, see whether he's a keeper or not. She's gone 72. Looks pretty good to me. Well, we cooked up a feed, started getting a bit late. We were both buggered, it had been a long day. So we rolled out the swag on the front of the boat and just listened to the water lapping against the boat. Bloody awesome. Laying back on the swag, Staring up at the sky, looking at these stars in the Kimberleys here. No light pollution. Absolutely awesome. Highly recommended. By the way, I didn't take these photos. I just haven't got the gear, so I borrowed them. And then the noise started. Old mate was out to it. Making a hell of a racket. Chuck him overboard. <laughs>
trying to get up. You get up. You can tell. Ooh. I always sleep so good out here on the boat. All right, time for some brekkie and uh, day starts all over again. Bait and see if we can get some fish. Have a have a cup of tea, get some brekkie happening. <clears throat> and then we'll get chasing that bait and that tide's just pushing in now, so best time to get your bait. Still haven't heard much action this morning, I think the water's too cold. We'll see. We'll warm up later on. Rain it helps. Alright, we just changed spots. Got a nice little hole here, it's got a few metres deep for sure, and that little bit. Tide's going out. So we're right on the corner of two rivers. We just had a little run there, but it spat it. And I've got two, too frisky. <laughs> you gotta let them take it. You can't just like strike straight away. You gotta let them go off with it and get it swallowed right down before you do anything. Just hang out here for a while, see what happens. Here we go. And this is going again. Don't go near it. That helps you notice. Know I'll put this down. Alright, I'll see you. Come out of the way, up. I'll get a photo of it. Come over here. Quick. Got a nice 76 there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nearly 77, not quite. It's another nice thread fin. Sweet. All right, I think that's all threadies we can have. I don't know how many we can have. I think we can only have two of them. So we need one more barrel and we're off home. Yoop. Oh, 200 watt solar panels doing its job. Battery's still on 13, fluctuates when the fridge jumps on, goes to 13, one or two. And then when the fridge pops back on, it'll go to 12, five, something like that. But it's been running that bait tack continuously in the fridge. What are we on now? Where is it? Where is it? 12.6 and the fridge is running at the moment so when that clicks off it'll go back up to 13 something. So fully stoked. Well we just pulled out another treadfin salmon. He was size but we can't keep him so I didn't bother filming it. So he's back to the wall. Hope for that barra. Where are you? We might knock off uh, a bit of fillet off one of those shreddies and have that for lunch. Put it up in the boat here along the bank once I'm in the shade. That helps have a run around. No it helps. It helps. Say good day, Dustin. Help me. You got blood on you. Bloody hell, you wouldn't read about it. Check this out. Pretty sure I got gill raked 
It was a nice barra too. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is. And there it is. Snap straight through. That's fishing. Oh, Jesus. That was a good size you too. Oh, well. That would have been us back on the trailer. And we'll keep going. Let's get a fair thin salmon. Don't even get a coating. And a bit of the old lettuce, can't go wrong. And somewhere around, I can't find it. Oh, yes, it is. Cold refreshments, gotta have them. Baits in the water, got some nice ones there. And about uh, 250, 300, so they're a good, good sized mullet. And there's buffing going on all around me, so it's just a matter of time, I suppose. Gotta make up for that one I lost. Yeah. Anyway. Okey doke, mob. Lunch is served. Freshly caught thread full of salmon about, I don't know, an hour ago. Cold beer. And a uh, pretty good view. And we're fishing. Alright, I'm gonna get this in there. Check how white that is, eh? Does that look good or what? Beautiful. Hot water croc sitting up on the bank. Up here, I'll see if I can get close enough to film him for you. There he is, right there. Big enough to eat anyway. You got your sunset drinks. You got lines in. I'm just cut my bloody thumb on a gill raker. <laughs> That's some of the hazards out there. Getting deers out of the esky and you got your fish in there. Anyway, I won't die. The hazards are. There you go. That's what happens when you get beers out of the esky when you got barrows in it. <laughs> Terrible problem. Oh, we're camping here tonight. Might even get a fire going, I'll see how it goes. 
Well, I had another nice night. We got up super early in the morning before the sun got up. The tide was coming in early, so we put the boat back on the trailer and headed back to Broomtown. Another cool night. And I'm puffing and panning because I just put the boat back on the trailer. Quite boggy out there, but it's hard bottom. Tide's on its way in now. So technically could have waited a bit. Anyway, I wanted to do it before that sun came up. But we'll get it um, all packed up and we'll hit the road. Back at my place. Well, just like that, 140 k's and we're back in the driveway. Another bloody awesome time. So this is what my girl looks like after two days of living in her. Up in the, in the river with all the mud thrown at us. <laughs> we'll bring it back. A few scales, so that's a good sign. Imagine how dirty it would have been uh, without the old deck wash. Mm. All right, well, we'll get into cleaning it. The old girl there needs a bit of a tub too. Mm. We'll get stuck into it because it'll be brand new. Right. Not a bad little haul. Could have done with one more barrel, but I let it go. <laughs> All right. Pretty cool. Yeah, feel it in boy. How does that look? Remember, do not wash with fresh water. You'll take the taste right out of it. This comes from the salt. So anything from the salt don't go, does not go near fresh water. Right oh, so. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. A couple of days up Fitzroy River. Had a great time. If you like all that sort of stuff, please subscribe. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified of my next mission which is coming up shortly we've got a few plans in the pipeline and uh, we're going to head off up the coast so thanks very much catch up